Let your body act symmetrically, and that goes away immediately. So if you just put yourself into sort of symmetrical mode, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, let yourself play contrary motion. Uh, this then just takes care of your problem for you. But it, it shows us how the, often the solution to a situation that we don't want when we improvise can be dealt with with just a little bit of tweaking of the physical activity itself. And this is one example of that. You just let yourself go into symmetrical mode with your two, finger, or two hands. Okay, the next step is to go back and to play this maybe about the same tempo, maybe very slightly faster with the left hand, just as you did a few minutes ago, so nicely. And we'll do it as a duet this time. Okay, before he plays it as a solo, um, what we're doing now, of course, is playing two to one. For every note of the tune, we're playing two notes with the left hand. And what this does is, now that we are comfortable with making motion, we don't need to plan what to play. We can just let our fingers do the walking, so to speak. And now we get a little bit more varied richness of sound going with the tune so much so that we can almost imagine perhaps tweaking things a little bit uh, and actually beginning to shape that left hand part now that it's flowing so easily. In fact, I, uh, I did just one thing uh, while playing together with him. I wanted to wait until I thought he was going to play a D before I played the beginning of the last phrase. I didn't have to say, plan to play a D, because I knew it would happen eventually. I just had to listen for it coming. And, and sure enough, it came along, came up stepwise. And so at that mo moment, I brought in the A, because I wanted just maybe to get this sound. So you can do this with yourself, as well as with a duet. And so the idea is not that you, that you have to make something happen, that you have to make that D happen. All you have to do is listen for it. And it starts to come along, you think, here's a chance, bam. So uh, let's see if we can hear this, then not as a duet, but, but as a solo. The left hand is still going to be just without conscious thought, random motion. But now he's going to think a little bit about when he wants to bring in the first note of each phrase so as to make a pleasing sound with whatever is coming along in the, in the left hand part.
Beautiful. He waited for the E flat, and it worked just as well. So, are you ready for triplets? Okay. <laughs> At the moment we get to triplets, we can think about doing some other things as well. So let's, let's launch right in and we'll do triplets. Oh, leave it at the same speed now, because you're, you're sort of fast. <laughs> it's working fine. Again, very well done. So some, somewhere about the triplet stage, we can think about applying a little bit more consciousness to this left-hand part. Never so much that we get our brains tied up in knots about it, but this, this is something that we want to sort of visit gently with our consciousness and just to nudge a little bit this continuing part and let it develop in different ways. One thing we could do is to try to see if we can get some, a little bit more sense of motivic organization. Well, since we're in triplets, we could try playing triplets, descending stepwise triplets. For instance, My recommendation would be, if you decide to do it this way, don't think about what notes you're going to play yet. Think about what fingers you're going to use. Think about the fact that this whole series of figures all get played one, two, three. Thumb, second finger, third finger. And so if we begin by just organizing ourselves around this feeling, fifth finger holds the note, and then we do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In different places on the keyboard, we know that it's going to sound fine because we know already that when it's completely random, it sounds okay. Okay. Try to do this so that you, well, of course, when you do it down here, you want two, three, four, but for the rest of them, use one, two, three, okay? Mm -hmm. 